Good morning. Uh, my name is Abdel Adel. I'm a medical student. Can I have your name and age, please? You can answer to yourself. Okay, Mr. Mishra, today I'm asked to perform a respiratory examination. Uh, is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, uh, can you take off your shirt, please? Okay, so the patient should be exposed um, fully. So, um, from general inspection, um, uh, we should comment on the vital signs first, uh, the uh, pulse rate, the respiratory rate, the temperature, and the blood pressure. So, uh, we can really uh, General inspection, so, so the patient looks well and alert. He's not cyanose or pale. The patient is breathing normally. He's not using uh, any accessory muscles. Um, he's not in distress, and there's no audible uh, breath sounds. The patient is not connected to an IV line or a nasal cannula. Move to the uh, hands of the patient. Can I have a look at your hands, please? Okay, uh, so looking at the patient's nails, there is a uh, normal capillary refill time. There is no sign of uh, cholinichia or lichinichia. Uh, can you do like this for me, please? Okay. Uh, there is no sign of finger club, uh, clubbing. Okay, uh, looking at the dorsum uh, patient's hand. So, um, there's no scars. There is normal skin turgor. Okay, for both hands. Looking at the patient's palms. Okay, uh, there is no scars. Uh, palmar erythema. Muscle wasting. Okay, I need you to do it like this for me, please. I should normally wait for 30 seconds uh, looking for fine tremors. Now I need you to do like this, please. Okay. Looking for flapping tremors. There's no sign of flapping tremors. Okay, that's it. Uh, now moving to the patient's face. Uh, can you look up, please? Uh, there is no sign of conjectural pallor. Look down, please. There's no sign of jaundice. Uh, the patient's nose should be inspected for any polyps or nasal deviation. Uh, can you open your mouth, please? Inspecting the patient's mouth, there's good oral hygiene and there's no sign of dehydration. Could you stick out your tongue, please? Okay, good. Uh, there's no sign of central cyanosis. Now, Mr. Mishra, can you lie uh, down on the bed, please? Uh, moving to the uh, chest inspection. So, um, the patient is breathing normally. Uh, chest shape and movement are symmetrical. There is no scars, deformities, or rash. Now moving to the palpation part. So uh, we'll start off by the trachea. We'll see if the trachea is centrally located or not. Good, so the trachea is centrally located. Now we'll uh, measure the uh, cricosternal distance. Okay, so it's uh, three fingers and normal. Now I need you to take a uh, breath moment, please. Okay, good. So uh, there is only minimal uh, movement on inspiration. Now we'll try to locate the apex beat. Good. So uh, this is the center angle. This is second, third, fourth, fifth, the cluster space, and the midclavicular line. Good. I need you please uh, to take a deep breath. Good. Again? Mm -hmm, good. Now I need you to, uh, to say 99 for me, please. 99. Good. Again? 99. Okay. Uh, now we'll move to the percussion part. We'll start by the clavicles. Good. Don't forget the side, uh, the lateral sides. Good. So this is for the percussion. Now we'll move to the auscultation. Uh, we need to, to listen to the patient's chest, the supraclavicular area with the uh, belfted stethoscope. Good. Mm -hmm. The rest of the chest is um, auscultated by the uh, diaphragm. So 
So uh, there is uh, equal bilateral air entry uh, for both lungs. Now, uh, can you say 99 for me, please? 99. Again? 99. 99. 99. Okay, good. Now I need you to whisper 1, 2, 3 for me, please. Good. Uh, now I need you to say E for me, please. E. Good. Uh, now, Mr. Michel, can you sit up, please? Now, when we go to the posterior chest examination, so uh, we'll begin with the inspection. So uh, the patient doesn't show uh, any sign of kyphosis or scoliosis. Uh, there's no scars, any scars or deformities. Uh, moving on to the uh, palpation, uh, we do chest expansion. Uh, can you take a deep breath for me, please? Good. Again, please. Good. Now I need you to say 99 for me, please. 99. 99. Good. Um, now moving to the percussion. So that's it for the percussion. Now we need to uh, listen to the patient's uh, chest. The diaphragm of the uh, stethoscope. Again. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. So uh, there's normal bilateral equal air entry for both lungs. Uh, now can you say 99 for me, please? 99. 99. Okay. 99. Good. 99. Okay. Um, now I need you to whisper 1, 2, 3 for me, please. Again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Last thing is, uh, I need you to say E for me, please. E. Again. E. 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 Okay, good. So that's it for the posterior chest examination. And finally, uh, I'll uh, wash my hands, thank the patient, and help him get dressed. And conclude my examination by examining the ear, nose, and throat.